Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today I want to make a different kind of video. I actually want to talk about a topic, um, you know, kind of related to programming, which is mentorship, all right? And I want to talk about, you know, how important mentorship can be if you're trying to learn blockchain programming or really any kind of programming, or if you're trying to, you know, start a blockchain business or break into the industry, right? You're trying to create a cryptocurrency, whatever it is. I want to talk about how important this idea of mentorship can be or consulting or coaching or whatever, right? So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also don't forget my blockchain developer bootcamp is coming out on May 15th, 2019. It's very soon. It's going to be your ticket to becoming a highly paid blockchain developer. All right, you can find out more by going over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay, so let's talk about this idea of mentorship. All right, and you know, this is a really big deal if you're trying to learn anything, if you're trying to become successful at anything. There's lots of paths you can take. There's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. You know, you can certainly figure out everything yourself. It depends on your goals, uh, your situation, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to talk about the benefits of mentorship today because it's made such a huge difference in my life and my path to becoming a programmer and also starting a business and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's always, you know, having, knowing someone or being close to someone who knows a lot more than me has always made a huge difference. So I'll start off by talking a little bit about my story. All right. Some of you asked me about, you know, my uh, past, like how to get into programming, how to get into blockchain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's talk about how I started programming at all. So I've, I'm a self-taught programmer. I've been programming for a very long time, and I started, you know, basically all on my own. I didn't really even know anybody really who was a programmer. I mean, I know a couple people. I started off basically just by asking a friend of a friend who was a professional programmer, you know, hey, where should I start, right? What languages should I look at? You know, what learning resources should I check out? That was basically sort of my square one approach, right? So I guess you could call that first contact, you know, a little bit of mentorship, okay? So from there, I found out, you know, the, the resources and, and the online resources were nowhere near as abundant as they are today. You know, there's just way more online learning resources now than there were when I learned. Okay, so I basically just started devouring these online learning resources, learning as much as I could, just cramming all the information in. You know, people talk about standing at the bottom of a waterfall with your mouth open or, you know, trying to guzzle from a fire hose. That's basically what I tried to do, right? I just every day, day after day, was just cramming information, trying to learn how to become a professional programmer. And I taught myself the basics, right? I built up a portfolio. I started going to meetups and tried to show people what I did. You know, I go to these meetups and basically interact with people and kind of figure out, you know, what they're capable of versus what I was capable of. I would basically track my progress that way. I could see, you know, what can they do? What can I do? And that sort of gave me a benchmark to see what did I need to learn? What did I need to keep working on? Um, and also just in validation of like, yeah, I have made progress and I do have real skills that are, you know, viable in a workplace. Because there were other people who were going to coding boot camps at these kinds of things. And I could see what they were learning and that I was, you know, pretty much on pace uh, with their progress. If not ahead in some ways, behind in other ways, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that initial just sort of insight about what to learn from one person wasn't incredibly hands-on, but it was at least a push in the right direction, right? So that made a big difference. That little bit of mentorship made a big difference initially. And then, you know, me basically just consistently uh, learning every single day and just cramming my, you know, brain full of information until it made sense, that also made a huge difference too, right? But I want to talk about what happened next. And what happened next made probably the biggest difference in the trajectory of my career and my progress after this. You know, what I've been doing so far was working really well, but what was about to happen was going to basically take the progress and turn it into an exponential curve. All right, and I'll explain why. So after this, I, after I started attending meetups, I basically started to talk to people who were, you know, senior developers in, uh, you know, the ecosystem that I was developing in and in my town at the time. And I found somebody who was a senior developer who wanted to basically hire junior developers, which is kind of where I was starting at, 
uh, to work with them as a, as a freelancer, as an independent contractor. And that was great because I wanted to be a freelancer and an independent contractor, and I was just starting out. So it was a great way for somebody to you know, get labor, they could train somebody, and also I could learn. And this was my first real hands-on mentorship or apprenticeship in software um, and programming. And it made, it made a huge amount of difference. And like I said, it was the thing that caused my progress to you know, go from good to amazing. And it really was amazing. So long story short, um, I started working with this particular mentor as an independent contractor. And it, it was... It, because I did that, you know, I went from knowing zero about programming to within a year's time, roughly, earning a six-figure income as a programmer. And I was doing really well on my own, just teaching myself, you know, the basics and, you know, using all the online learning resources. But having that hands-on mentorship is what really accelerated uh, my skills to become so viable that I could earn that higher income a lot faster, right? I was on track to do that eventually, but the mentorship was what, you know, accelerated that. It really, you know, made it happen a lot faster. And accelerating that to where it happened a lot faster, I mean, it put that progress, you know, in the rearview mirror and everything else that I wanted to do in my career, you know, it just got this ball rolling. It got this sort of ball rolling to where I had this momentum and this steam. It could go on to do all kinds of other stuff and programming that I wanted to do, like learning blockchain uh, several years down the road, right? But having that initial, you know, uh, booster in the beginning just made everything else just accelerate. And mentorship was the thing that made probably the biggest difference, or at least it was a fundamental ingredient in that sort of supercharged growth. So that's sort of an overview of kind of how mentorship really helped me specifically in you know my early software development career all right and i've had mentors in many other areas of my life you know uh in different capacities i've hired mentors i've worked under mentors i've just had you know friends and uh you know people that I looked up to are mentors etc cetera, etc cetera, and they've made a huge difference in my life right so that is one of the reasons I want to talk about them is because of how beneficial they have been to me. And I've also seen them be incredibly beneficial to other people as well. It's not totally anecdotal. It's just not my experience, my opinion. I mean, it can be amazing. All right. So I want to talk about where you can find mentors, you know, for you. If you want to, you know, seek this out and get help from a mentor or a coach or a consultant or a guide or whatever, right? So I'm going to talk about specifically, you know, programming or business or something, you know, people who are watching my channel who are interested in blockchain or starting to, you know, start their own blockchain business or want to become a programmer or both. All right. So the first place um, is meetups. Like this is exactly what I did. You know, once I had the skills going to meetups uh, and, you know, basically offering value, that's how you really want to connect with people. You don't want to just say, oh, I'm here and I want to, you know, take from this relationship. You want to, you want to be a win-win. You want to be able to, you know, offer value through education or through, you know, helping somebody or something like that, and then be able to receive the value back, right? That's how those, that's how those communities work. So if you can find a good local meetup to go to, that's a good starting point, right? So another way is at your regular programming job if you have one. Like if you're already a programmer and you're thinking about getting into blockchain or you're just trying to advance your programming career. There might be, you know, a senior in your uh, uh, workplace who's able to kind of take you under their wing. And even if you don't work together directly, some people just like to help others. And you can just sort of ask them questions and, you know, they might, you know, take a liking to you or, you know, it just depends. You know, you can't always, uh, you don't want to be entitled, right? You don't want to say you have to help me because <laughs> that's not going to do well at all, right? Um, but there may be someone in your workplace now who can be somewhat of a mentor to you. And they don't have to necessarily be like an over-the-shoulder full-time mentor, even to somebody who can help you uh, in small ways, like that first person I mentioned who just said, hey, go learn this. Um, that can always be beneficial if you're in square one and don't really know what to do, all right? So, you know, online forums and communities are another great place to find uh, mentors, people who can just like, point you in the right direction, give you resources. Um, and so another thing is to hire mentors or hire coaches or consultants, right? And you can do this all over the place online. You can do this on uh, any freelancing website. You can do this on, you know, anybody who ha offers co coaching and consulting services. And, you know, it's, it's a way to basically just hire mentorship as a service or consultation as a service. It's a value 
uh, trade and you basically just contract people for their time in order to help you, like an investment basically. And this isn't totally official yet, but I do plan on offering some private coaching and mentorship as a part of my blockchain developer bootcamp, which is coming out on May 15th. All right, so I haven't set all the details of this yet, but you're gonna you're gonna want to be on my email list uh, to find out about all the details for the launch event whenever it comes out on May fifteenth. All right. So like I said, the details aren't completely set in stone yet. Like so, the the coaching and the mentorship is going to be uh, separate from the you know standard uh, on demand boot camp offering. Right. It's gonna be a separate package that can be combined together. And like I said, I haven't figure out all the details yet, but just get on my email list if you want to, you know, learn more about that whenever the bootcamp launches. And let's talk about how to benefit from mentors. So like if you get one, how can you actually maximize and get the most out of it? Well, number one, you have to be coachable. Whenever you get one, you have to be willing to learn. And that basically means that you have to be humble and you have to be, you know, receptive to criticism and open to ideas and open to change. You have to really want it. It's really like a mindset sort of thing, right? And that was a huge difference for me, uh, or that's what made a huge difference for me when I was being coached and mentored, right? Is I would listen. I was, you know, humble in a way. And I know that sounds weird to describe yourself as humble, but I don't mean that to brag or to my own horn. I just said to help you. Um, because when you find yourself in a situation, you want to be humble. You want to be, uh, you you first have to admit that you don't know something and that you need help. And just admitting that you don't know something and that you lack skills is humility. It is being humble. It is saying, you know, I'm not this and I want to become that. And I, you know, I, I hope that you would help me, right? So you have to be coachable. You have to be teachable. And you have to be open to criticism. You can't be too sensitive to criticism. Like if you go to a gym and you say, hey, I want to get six pack abs or I want to, you know, get really in shape. And, you know, <laughs> your personal trainer says, oh, we got to really work on your waistline. We got to work on, you know, and then you start, you know, getting sensitive and touchy. It's like, well, Hey, that's what you signed up for. So I'm not saying every you know mentor is gonna you know put you under a microscope and you know be your worst critic and and like a like a you know drill sergeant or something like that. But you do have to basically be able to you know kind of look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I'm not you know exactly what I thought I would be, and I got to work hard to become what I want. And then you just have to trust. You have to trust that your coach or your mentor or your consultant or whatever knows they're talking about and you just follow their input. And you have to learn to apply it. You basically have to learn to think like them. That's kind of the goal as they suck you up onto their level and your brain sort of starts to mold into theirs and you sort of develop their thought process. That's the huge value add, right? And you have to think about mentorship as an investment, right? Especially if you want to find a mentor that specializes in exactly what you're trying to learn, right? They can accelerate everything. Like if you're trying to learn something, you know, you, you can do it all yourself or take, you know, blockchain programming, for example, or blockchain tech, for example. They can do so many things. It's hyper efficient. They can show you all the learning resources the strategy to learning them faster, all the shortcuts, all the tips and tricks. They can help you basically navigate an industry you don't understand, give you tactics to either build your career or build your business in ways that you haven't thought of before, whether that's marketing yourself, marketing your business, knowing who to talk to, uh, kind of connecting you with you know specific individuals that you would have never you know had access to without that person. Uh, they can change the way you think. It's it's hyper efficient. Like you get you accomplish so many things just by making contact and uh, getting you know that info from one person. And I'm telling you, this is someone who's been powerfully affected by mentors and coaches. You know, ever since my you know, first coding mentor and other mentors, you have know, hired mentors uh, for you know business and consulting and you know fitness and everything i've hired people to you know kind of cut that learning curve because it's so valuable to me i look at it as an investment and i've done it right i'm not just telling you something that i wouldn't do myself i have done it. i've been powerfully affected by it and so many people other people have too and here's why you have to think about mentorship as an investment also like you have to basically uh get someone's attention who's going to mentor you right so usually whoever's going to do that, whoever's qualified to be your mentor, someone who's like 10 times better than you at what you're trying to do, 
uh, they're probably going to be busy, right? They're going to either going to have a job or they're going to be running a business or, you know, something's going to be taking up their attention. And you have to be uh, a good proposition <laughs> to, for them to shift their focus and to put, you know, put, include you into their pipeline, all right? So now some people just really like to help others and they get a lot out of helping other people and they'll do it for free and they'll say, hey, yeah, I'd love to help you. But you're typically going to have very limited access to those people. If they decide they just want to help you for free, they're probably not going to do it every day. They're not going to do it every week. They're probably going to do it every month. I mean, they might, you might get really lucky and find someone like that. They might be related to you or something. Um, but most people who don't know you otherwise aren't going to give you just unlimited amounts of time and access to themselves. So if you want something that's more regular uh, and there's like skin in the game and they're obligated to meet with you, then you're probably going to have to pay them or you're going to have to work for them, right? So if you work for them, then they're going to get some value exchange where, you know, they're uh, basically getting work done by you and you in turn are getting to learn. That's a huge value, all right? Or you're going to have to pay them. Basically, you're going to say, hey, here's a contract that you're going to basically set aside time out of your schedule to devote full and undivided attention to me right? Your, your, uh, your mentee. <laughs> All right. And that doesn't make them bad people, right? That doesn't mean, oh my gosh, I have to pay this person to get, you know, mentored by them. It's like, no, I mean, it just means that they have limited amounts of time. If they had unlimited time, it wouldn't matter. Right. But their time is limited. It's finite and they must economize their time. And that's why they get paid to do things. Right. And that doesn't make them a bad person. It just means that they, you know, have to keep their priorities straight. All right, so that's all I got for today, guys. Again, mentorship has been such an important part of my programming career, really my entire life. Uh, you know, I would not be who I am or where I am today without mentors and coaches and consultants and all kinds of experts who have really helped me advance rapidly. I may have gotten there one day, but... You know, definitely not as fast as I have without those resources in my life. So again, so I hope y'all like this video. Again, don't forget my Blockchain Developer Bootcamp is coming out on May 15th, 2019. You can find more at daphneuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. As always, subscribe to the channel. Click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. And until next time, thanks for watching Daphne University.